Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic today is prejudice and racism at the 21st century. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about prejudice and racism at the uh, 21st century, uh, Dr. E. Kelly, Kelly Sanford uh, from uh, Tennessee State University and a longtime visitor and guest on, on our show here. And of course, Dr. Uh, Sanford, let me welcome you to the show once again. Uh, to uh, tell you how delighted we are to have you with us, and especially the topic that uh, we're to deal with today, prejudice and racism at the 21st century. And let's start off, uh, Dr. Sanford, by having you to give us some information about your background, your education, and your experiences. And maybe by the second segment, uh, we'll be able to get into uh, racism and uh, prejudice and racism at the 21st century. Let's start there. Okay, and thank you very much, Dr. Hayden. It's always a pleasure to be back. We've done it a number of times, and I've always heard positive things from our pro your program. My name is Dr. E. Kelly Sanford. I'm associate professor in the Department of Sociology, which they now call Sociology, Social Work, and Urban Planning mm -hmm. at Tennessee State University. Um, and I'm a graduate of Howard University with my doctorate degree, mm -hmm. and I did a postdoc degree on um, in, in family and relations at Penn State University. My alma mater is North Carolina Central University in North Carolina, and I'm originally from North Carolina. Um, while at Tennessee State University, I would like to share that I've been working on some very interesting um, research with the Department of Agriculture at Tennessee State University on switchgrass, and we've been doing that in collaboration with the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I've also been working very diligently while at Tennessee State University on very interesting courses mm -hmm. of, of um, racism, of sociological analysis, mm -hmm. looking at social problems in the United States and the demographics of that as well. And I've been very fortunate to be doing collaborative work while at Tennessee State University with other units, um, the Department of Education, as well as the Department of Criminal Justice and working with master thesis and dissertations. Mm -hmm. And my research area there is in health and wellness. I've been doing some research on that. We actually did a program very on that. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing some work on that. And this coming year, we're having a, a national conference here that we are sponsoring at Tennessee State University, the Association for Social and Behavioral Scientists, where we'll be dealing with some of these same types of issues. Mm -hmm. So we're real excited about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And we're dealing with something that you've got a lot of information with, Dr. Dr. Yes, Sanford, sir. because I know, as you said before, we've talked about it in the last show right. that we did had quite a bit of information dealing with uh, the issues That's right. that in one way or the other that we're uh, going to deal with today. Yes. Now, before the uh, beginning of this second uh, uh, segment, let's see if we can have you to sort of give us an overview within the next couple of minutes so on uh, ra prejudice and racism at the uh, 21st century. Okay, I think it's very important for a listening audience and a conversation about this mm -hmm. is to really have a pretty good fundamental definition of what is prejudice. Mm -hmm. And um, we always think in terms of in the social sciences from the great Dr. Gordon Allport, it has a book that is entitled, and it was a classic, mm -hmm. The Nature of Prejudice. Mm -hmm. And very simply, he said it's a feeling that is favorable or unfavorable toward a person, a thing, or a group without any prior experience of that person or thing. Mm -hmm. So he also moves into talking about this idea of prejudice as being somewhat a fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. And he talks about this act on prejudice as being broken up into five different areas. Mm -hmm. One he calls antilocution. Mm -hmm. That's when a general population might just start talking about a group of people, might be influenced by someone else that might be saying something. Without them being aware, they just might start to just saying, okay, yeah, I think that's right. And, and people start to galvanize. And the second one mm -hmm. of that is avoidance where people would just have a tendency, not knowing about the other person, have these fears, these preconceived notions, and want to avoid another group. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is that of discrimination, based on how another person might look, or a, a female in an organization, they might want to um, discriminate against him or her. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth level is that of physical attack, where they are physically doing something, and we know the history of that, and we'll get into that a little bit later. And the last one is that of extermination. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Gordon Allport has a classic on that where he studied this as a phenomena. And from that time he did that classic book to the present, we're still dealing with it in, in, in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, it, it, it reminds me of something I think you uh, mentioned earlier about uh, Dr. Du Bois. Oh, yes. The problem of the uh, 20th century is Absolutely. what? 
the yeah. color line. That's and, right. And I think that when we talk about the color line, we're still talking about prejudice and racism right. and et cetera, et cetera. And so as you indicated, it's something right. that uh, we dealt with then and we're still dealing with it now. And I certainly appreciate you coming by and being able to deal with it now. Yes. Because I think more than ever, people need to know more about uh, what is going on now. Yes. And so uh, let me uh, uh, in uh, this uh, for this for our first uh, short commercial, uh, Dr. Sanford, and then we'll come back and we'll pick up uh, with a second part in reference to this. We'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break. <laughs> 